excited for this game. Believe it or not, I am playing Harvester. This game came out in 1996 and it is so good still. Believe it or not, regardless of how pixelized these cutscenes are, and I realize it is a dated game, you have to realize that, 1996, but I am so excited for this. It's been a long time. The in-game graphics I actually appreciate. These I could do without. Oh, this is such a good game. It's been several years since I played this and I realized I hit it on Steam. Like, the DOS box and everything just hooked up with it. Yeah, you play as Steve. You start out in his bedroom. I know I... I can kind of remember, I remember <laughs> a few really creepy parts. This is going to be awesome. I'm just going to exit. Examine. Oh, this is your inventory if you click on yourself. You're going to want to grab anything that you can, basically. That just puts it in your inventory. And you can't grab the shades. Who's this little guy? What? Little guy from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. Yeah, this is where you I'm learn. Sorry. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost he my has memory. Amnesia. Have not. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. You always were a kid, Steve. Talk about a cowboy show. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I. I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. What did I'm gonna tell? Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What I just love. Love. And besides, blood and guts are The way medium. this game is done. Bye. Good. Fine. What a little brat. Japer. Talk to Mama. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Game is just so Your awesome. name will be M U D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Hank, that kid over by the television? Your little brother is homesick from school today, and I won't have you scaring him with this amnesia poop. Is he really sick? Look at that show he's watching. Wouldn't you say he's sick? I'd make him stop, but oh, I'm so busy baking cookies for the Harvest PTA Charity Bake Sale. It's on Friday, you know. I hope you're still planning on going. I don't know. I, I need to think. Honestly, skipping out of a charity affair. What's gotten into you? I don't know, damn it. That's what I'm telling you. Don't you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie, for that matter. How do you think she'd feel knowing her fiancé was a gutter -mouth? Ask what Stephanie. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiance is having second thoughts about the wedding. 
Okay, so Look, now you're learning about, about weddings wedding. is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First the heartbreak of psoriasis and now this. Two weeks before the wedding and you're backing out. Whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And don't expect me to write you a note. Alright, bye. <laughs> don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Ah, oh, I just love the way this is done. Alright, exit. I don't want to talk to that little brat. I'll take one of these from my inventory. Mosey on out the door. Talk to Jimmy James. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? How'd you expect a working So what? A sentinel bill. That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? You know Miss Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. First the keys. Nuh-uh. See you later, Alex. I don't like the way this is going already. This game makes me feel so uncomfortable. Alright, so now you're looking around your map here. I suppose I'll just click on the post office. A blind woman. Yes? I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? I'd like a large application. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Afraid not, son. You can't get them anywhere but the post office. I'm sorry, so you guy's just have hoarding to come them back all. in a month, same as anyone else. We need and even then, I can't guarantee the you'll get an application. application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Check out the general store. This animated little lady here. Can I help you, dear? Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gene Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things. These Gene days. Memorial, they're telling me. My memory's you. gone. Sha, you, you always there, were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious, I need some help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Lodge. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Don't know. Haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? So I have to go into my own inventory, grab the 25er, and give it to her face. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's what I want. A girly magazine? Oh, don't Why, judge Steve, me, woman! I'm surprised at you. I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy <laughs> Look Lewis, at her but never from you. Great. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Darned if I'd sell him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. 
Well, will you sell me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. Okay, dear. You check back if you decide there's anything you want. I'll be happy to help you. Come back soon. He's so innocent like, but it's just so evil, you know? Everybody's kind of evil in this game. Free copy. I guess you just exit out. Exit back to the map. Little groovy walk he has. Go to the barber shop. Alright, we're at the barber shop. Mr. Patrick Allen doesn't respond. I don't know, I just don't think a lot. Howdy, Steve. Yeah. Howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some real past pastorellis of rube from way back. Ask Clem Parsons. How about to see you later? Nice to see you again, Steve. How about the big guy? Hello there, youngster. Are you talking I about aliens, aliens, huh? How come I never see none of them uh, saucers clean? Them aliens is uh, why they pick. He don't You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday uh, he gets an alarm. Pastorelli shelled uh, out for an alarm system, alright, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot cross wired it through the fire sprinkler. So now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spraying. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop. Sure enough. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to Quail. What? You think you can get one of those and a swap me? Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a carving. Oh, they do their crop doodles with zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know nothing? I've heard right. enough of no. this. Now you listen to Cliff. Anytime, Steve. Mind your weirdos. Going back to the map. Do we go to the missile base? Another weird oh, character. Uh, keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. These are nuclear missiles? <laughs> Goddamn right they are. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. <laughs> along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole control of the uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2. Stuff, and I got my lower torso shot off in the war. How about I just don't talk to that guy? The abandoned house. Ooh, bees all over. Oh, I can go in there. There's a wasp on the bench. It's not often that I get visitors. I am Tetua Crumb. The ignorant right. of harvest called me the wasp woman. Yeah, what about these wasps? Regard the wasps. What about wasps? Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Yeah. Wasps, wasps spill nests oh, and more wasps. Nothing more. Wasps. They spread into eaves you and attics. A few times. Not wasps. to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz wasps. and rustle on their own right. paper, of perpetuating that. their own agenda. Terrifying. The most relentless of Oh, insects. the Harvester logo didn't even. Isn't that crazy? Maybe it's like a virus that infected the town and made everybody weird. Maybe that's it. How about I don't really care about this lady anymore. Bye, you weirdo. <laughs> Go to the 
mortuary. Check it out a little bit. <clears throat> oh, I can pick it up. Let's go in here. A heart in a jar? Okay, oh, these are great sound effects. Oh, looks like someone taking an airy weird crap. Yeah. And all the body parts, what? Steven, yeah. who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan, mortician and proprietor of Gross, the Lingwood Hotel. Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Uh, Your loss of me What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. I really don't recall. We get so many low-life dregs passing through here, I can't remember every little death that occurs. Huh. Are there that many? As I said, sliced open on a mortician's slab, every corpse looks the same. Red. Oh, and juicy. Man. But surely you'd remember if these deaths were an unusual occurrence. You sound like you're launching some sort of investigation, Stephen. That would be most unwise. Bye. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living so wearisome. Wow. You can't have that. I was only going to. Indeed. Security. I'm afraid that's not good enough. I need that glue for my work. You must present me with something significant if you'd have me part with it. Oh, I gotta do something for the glue. Get out of here. I can't stand these sounds. Yeah. What's this all about? Waste of time. Get out of here. Check out the cemetery. This is a cemetery. Oh, Potsdam family crypt. All right, you can't go any further. Please excuse the mess. They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom, okay. but this garage defies color coordination. <laughs> oh, that pink fire! Oh boy, this is a little bizarre for a fire station. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Flame, wow. as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spot. Wow. Honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. There you go, Spot. So, Steve! Bet you don't remember me. Heard about that short in the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. Don't be silly, everyone thinks this amnesia kick is a scream. Well, you always, always were a kidder, kidder Steve. Steve. Besides, it's my job to keep abreast of developments in the community, to better serve you, the public. I'm sure you'll be thrilled when you learn of the many civic improvements we have planned for your fire department. Such as? Well, don't tell any of the others, but I've secured a bolt of the most divine moth material. I've hidden it because well, if any of these Marys got a hold of it, it'd be gone in a jiffy. So I'd rather keep it hush-hush. I'm going to make new drapes for the firehouse, and if I have any left, cross your fingers, I'm going to make everyone matching mauve pillow cozies. Those are civic improvements. Don't be such a party pooper, Steve. Wow. We're talking about art. Besides, we haven't had a fire in Harvest since the newspaper building burned down. So I'll admit that the Wasp Woman's place is one big act. Well, this game doesn't happen. play on gay stereotypes at all. Spot? I don't know what. It... <laughs> A dreadful affair. 
You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Oh, this is acting out pretty good. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> oh, please. Dwayne was glad <laughs> enough to see the thing go up, and so was McKnight. If you could get into that safe in his wall... <sighs> Forget it. Look, Steve, as far as I know, the fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. Bye-bye. Let's go check out the newspaper building. Oh, wow, that's a fire. At least the plumbing held up. If I remember right, because uh, it took me a long time to figure this out, yeah, you just use it. And that. All right, now that we have those items, we can proceed to the next area. Go to the police station, why not? Talk to the sheriff. But Hello, Steve. Blue. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne, Dwayne and this here is Dwayne, Loomis. Dwayne, 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 Dwayne. I reckon. Then, <laughs> we haven't met before? Of course we have, but I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. I sure hope this is just a prank, and not the start of some insanity plea. <laughs> Keep your nose clean, or you'll wind up in jail, and that's no place to hold a wedding. Why do you want to break your poor? I'm telling you. Well, you've always well, been you've a kidder. Well, you've always been a kidder. Steve. Yeah, so everybody keeps telling me. Boy, they you do need... abuse that one there. All the you... uh, what the lodge? I don't mind telling you. I'd never get anything done if not for the lodge's efforts to join the order. Like I said, unless you get an application on the first. Stop on by any time, Steve. Talk to Lou. Anything I can help you with? Help yourself. Speaking of which. You're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. She don't look like a good woman. I just hope she don't turn out like Mrs. Oh, Loomis. Her mercy forbid Mrs. Phelps. Good wow. women can be awful hard on a man's knee. Why? You sure ought to appreciate what a man's yeah, got to do sometimes in a parked car or a waist high knot hole in a tree or jail cell at noon. Wow. Matter of fact, Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French postcard girly picture books. If you can get any, you see clear to part with them. Bring them so they do the clearly tell solution. you exactly what to do. Bye. But Get I don't time, think I can kiddo. do that in front of this fat fella right here. Accident, accident. Now I'm about to go to Edna's Diner. Who Ooh, there's that little fat piggy right there. Let's talk to this woman. Oh, 
Steve, what are you doing? Sneaking up oh, on me like that. Baby. God, for a second I thought you were Mr. Johnson. Ah. <sighs> what would you like to order? You know me? Sure. Then you believe me. Oh, oh you always, you always were, a were a kidder, Steve. I guess I've changed. I'm not <laughs> kidding. Now, if you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play. I'd expect that from Karen. Talking about Karen. You've That's met Karen, right my there, eight year old. Yeah. Other than the diner, she's all I have. Mr. Johnson has a a liking for me. I call it a crush, a but partner. that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. He's never gotten over being rejected by the lodge, and there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. I'm always glad when the sheriff comes in every day at noon. Lodge! The lodge is the repository of all wisdom. You should join the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve, and soon. Wow. Why? For God's sake, Sounds what like is it about thing. this place? The wheat ripens and waits not for the scythe. The farmer who waits too long, it were better that he used the scythe to rip his own stomach out than to stay his scythe when the wheat ripens. The harvest moon wanes and then comes winter. Wow. An empty belly, the body sun's belly, gurgling within or bloody on the ground. What does it benefit a man if he gains his soul and loses the world? You hunger. Feed yourself before it's too late. Oh. Edna? Steve. What happened? Were we talking about Boyle? Or was it Karen? You seem oh. strange there for a minute. Yeah, see, it was I'm like sorry. a trance. I'm under a lot of stress. Running this diner all alone. It's supposed to be like Forgive me. mocking the Freemason idea of. Stop by anytime, Steve. I'm pretty sure that, you know, like Why? a secret What's society like that. Karen? Your cult. What are you doing? Playing. My mom is working, that so I gotta down. stay out of her hair. Wanna play? Not now, maybe later. Okay. Bye bye. I remember I there was something over here. Nothing else, just this. Alright, screwdriver. Nothing else. Talk to Fat Boy. Hello there, Steve. Here for lunch? No, just here looking around. Though I'm not entirely sure where here is. Oh, I forgot. You're playing your little amnesia prank. Well, boy, this is DNA's diner. Isn't that right, Edna? Don't listen to Sheriff Duane. This is Edna's diner. But ever since the E burned out on the sign, they've been giving me a hard time. Now, don't be like that, Edna. It it's a be. great place to eat, which is good. Since it's the only place to eat and harvest. Ah. Stop on by any time, Steve. Alright, I'm gonna exit. Exit. And go to the police station. Talk to Mr. Loomis. Kiddo. <laughs> You brought me any of them girly picture books? No. Oh, come on. Sorry. Yes, he did. Oh. Yes, he did. In a time, kiddo. He has one right here. Click it on him. Here you go. Oh. Jerk off. Oh. By George. <laughs> oh, by wow. George. Oh, this here's the real thing. Oh, what a depraved soul! It? Oh, oh, thank you, Steve. Excuse me, kiddo. I gotta go. 
check the jail for clean tiles. Jimmy. Hat. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I'm just trying to get it. Oh, camera. That'll be useful for blackmailing. Oh, gas can. I want the dartboard and Santa hat for some reason, but it won't let me have it. They should just let you have it. As a useless item in your inventory. What's it gonna hurt? Examine the toast. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm just going to exit this area. Hello, Steve. Where's Loomis? Yeah, but coming around. I'm out oh, boy! Oh. What is oh, going boy. on here? <gasps> Loomis, have you? Wait, no, 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 Shepard. no! <laughs> uh, no. uh, up the again. He oh, beats him with uh, a newspaper. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, I'm just gonna go to uh. Gein Memorial School. Awesome. Gein Memorial. <sighs> Who this creepy mug? Let's see what he's got to say. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job, turning fine young men and women out into the world and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. Blah, but then blah, again, blah, blah, I never blah, blah, got blah. to see the results of my work up. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about uh, this amnesia so nonsense. I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young uh, fellow yeah, like yourself. But... Big guy. Why do you keep big calling guy. big guy? <laughs> a sign of respect, lad. That's principal of my station is years now. But you Atta never know boy. what the future holds. <laughs> and pay tribute. If that... Uh, about a lot. Big guy. Born some quality time. The big greatest guy. gift I can bestow upon you as your former oh, principal. Oh, Joe in the lodge. Big guy. Drop in again soon. Adult education Adult is a wonderful education. thing. It's a wonderful thing, he said. Go over here, talk to the fat teacher, Mrs. Whaley, appropriately named that way. My goodness, class, this is Stephen. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The <laughs> educator's greatest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their wow. hits? I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Wow. Then you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? Not really. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. 
Stephen, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? Corporal punishment. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. Uh oh That bridges the generation oh, boy. quite nicely. Quick! Nice quality cutscene. I actually like it. Kind of nice quality. If an A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? Looks like Sega Genesis quality or something. <laughs> Stars, that was exciting. <laughs> wow, what did I just see? Well, freaking crazy. All right, I'm just gonna say bye to this woman. Stop I think that's the most I'm gonna get out of her. That big cutscene, beating the kid to death. Let's get out of here. For the meat plant. Alright. This is Harvest Meats Inc. Cat. Wow. Freshly cut me. <laughs> Steve. I love oh, this game. Uh, about the same, I guess. So He's been creepy. away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This I is a fine it. kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am Garden glad to see you taking an interest perfect. in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you're you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep wow. the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the it? customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest job. meat. Only the juiciest cuts. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. Right. Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. He's not no even freebies give him meat? for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Bye. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best yeah. to your dad. That's awesome, though. That's really creepy. To come up with that cat slaughterhouse. I think I just gotta go to the lodge right in the center here. Just ignoring the lodge the whole time. Talk to the man. The joke. The initiates may enter the hall of the order of the harvest moon did you <laughs> say something i did not speak but my mind touched yours telepathy but how uh, only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention do you hunger for true knowledge yes i'd like to join the lot. there are always obstacles to the path you must first fill out an application okay. to be considered for initiation. Into the mysteries of the Freemason. Okay. Applications are available well, at the fine. post office. Then I just yeah. fill it out and return it to yeah. you, or what? You may yeah. find it difficult. That's what I have to do. Okay, so I'm going to the general store to make some copies. Think, let me check see what's in my inventory after all. Got the checkbook, note, camera, the, the button. Can I examine it? No, I can't. Uh, butterfly, I don't know. Can I make copies of it? Copy of the note. Bye 
Bye-bye. I'm going to the post office. Postmaster boy. Sorry, son. No time to talk. It's been missing for months now. Yeah. I keep meaning to get another, but... Well, the button's very distinctive. I'd have to file an S-411 with Washington to get another, and I just don't need the extra paperwork. Sure wish I could find it. So I have... Next time you post, don't yeah, forget this... Yeah, you jolly SOB. I know what you did! Oh, his button. My button? Why, I lost that Found months ago. Where did you find it? Funny thing, that. I found it in the ashes. At the newspaper building. What are you implying? That I had something to do with setting the fire? Preposterous. Why, a hundred people must have visited that site since the fire? Cut the crap, Mr. Boy. And what if I did? I guess I'd be pretty uh, grateful to anyone who could help get me off the hook. How? You seem like a capable lad. Hypothetically, let's say there was a gas can sitting in the evidence room at the mm -hmm. sheriff's office. A gas can which might have some incriminating prints you, on it. Boyle. Someone might be very grateful for the return of that gas can. Say, grateful enough to provide whoever returned it with a large a application. Oh, and Steve, you'll keep this to yourself. If you're smart. Very coincidental. Oh my god. I can't believe it. After all this time. Where's my application, Boyle? Here, take it. With my thanks. You know, this morning as I was making my rounds, I noticed an awful lot of television aerials on the roofs. Seems like more and more each day. You got me this can just in time, youngster. I may have need of it. What do you mean? There's another reason why Sheriff Duane didn't investigate the Sentinel fire. If you'd like to get something else on the blackmailing bastard, check around the television station. Television station. Why are you still it is. I got the large application. I think I just take the pen and use it in the live application. That's a ticket. Completed live application. I'm gonna get out of here. There we go. Exit over here. I'm going to go to the dive. The copy of the checkbook. Here you go, you lying black male. Now, Weirdo. where did you get these, Steve? It doesn't matter. I got that. I guess not. You don't want to admit. I could kill you. You don't want right to. Now. That would be a mistake. But you won't, because I've got the original checks, which prove that Boyle oh, burned down the newspaper building, Bad. and that you've been blackmailing him to keep it I quiet. I got it. All. I've hidden them. Oh, Anything yeah. happens to me, they might turn up soon uh-huh all, right. all right you've got me yeah. boy. tell you what and give you one of sheriff Dwayne's custom get, out, luck, get out of jail free cards that is you if i catch pass. you doing you something i'll look the other way once right. that's the deal how about, how about it? it uh let's just take that i don't want to push it all right just like bring me the original, and, and we'll close the deal. I happen to have those right in my back pocket, Mister Sir. So, you brought them after all, did you? That's right. And you said something about a get out of jail free card. Yeah, but can you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now and take them back? I think I had to play this smart, and this sounds like a pussy thing to say. So... 
Yeah, you there did it up right, Steve. Go. Guess I my best play is to pay up. The next yeah, time baby. I catch you for something, I owe you one. And no Hilly. hard feelings. Back sitting the diner. Going to the line. Hello, Mr. Man. I have an application. Yeah. And here we go. I see you've managed to acquire an application that demonstrates resourcefulness. A desirable trait for prospective members. You need a rest. Report back here for your next assignment. Alright! Your bad cousin! <laughs> yeah, these cutscenes are just totally unnecessary. Like, this ain't bad. I can deal with this. Oh. Okay, maybe not now! I just love this game, though. The feel of it is just... It's a weird-ass, creepy game. I don't know why, maybe I'm I'm the only one who loves it. Come on, Steve, get your ass out of bed. I think I'm going to end this right here, though. That was the end of day one, and that was a pretty long day. And I think I can combine the rest of these days into, like, a... I'm not going to try to make this into too long of a series, but I do want to complete this game. Check it out. But till then, peace out. This has been a Tinkus production. <laughs>